Alright, now we are at Starbucks being the basic white girls that we are. Well, I'm a man. Being the white, basic white people that we are. I'm half white. And we are at Dongguan International Airport on the way to Bali. So, this is gonna be a multi day vlog. Not much has happened. We've been mainly condo hunting in Bangkok and then sorting things out. Gonna go to Bali for a week, gonna vlog there a little bit more. As you guys see, we've got the caramel macchiato, man. It's my favorite Starbucks drinks. I'm addicted. We've got the espresso chocolate brownie. I don't know what muffin that is. Mm -hmm. And then we got whatever this is. We get that one. Macchiato. Macchiato. Mocha macchiato. Mocha macchiato. We'll see you guys in Bali. As you guys see, we are in the beautiful coast of Bali. Here is me featuring Mamsi in the background. And now we're walking to Semiak Beach. We have three nights booked at a hotel. I can't remember the pronunciation, but we're probably going to move, it, uh, move to a different hotel because it is a... Uh, it's nothing really that special. We like to be closer to the beach. Hello. And we would like to also see the different beaches around the island as you guys see this tropical paradise. Although yesterday when we arrived here it was pouring rain. Apparently um, January is one of the rainiest months of Bali. But as you guys see here we have some amazing artwork as well. So we're gonna walk to the beach and uh, I'll catch you guys there. But look at this beautiful sunny day here in Bali. And we are going to go get some breakfast because your boy woke up a little bit late. As you see, we have made to Semiyak Beach where I guess you can also take surf lessons. The waves aren't the greatest. I mean, the waves aren't the biggest. So over here, I think will be a perfect place for the beginners to learn. And as you guys, you see, there's some surfboards over there. There's some surf schools that seem to be over there. And then overall, there just seems to be more tents, etc. Although we brought the wrong attire for this. Let me get down, down property of Noku Beach House. I just saw you go hot at me. Yeah, but I ain't seen that fan. We're gonna walk that way because we can't really cross there with these shoes. We're gonna need to buy some sandals. <laughs> now we are at this beach resort, as you guys see. Pretty bougie place. The boy's probably gonna opt in for the mocha milkshake with the beef burger, man. Can't go wrong with that. And as you guys see, we got the beef views, but we don't have the tire for it. I have the swim trunks, but I have everything with me, like my phone, my wallet, so. The plan is to move to a hotel in a few days closer to the beach, and then we get to enjoy the beach. Maybe take some surf lessons at the schools over there. We have some surfboards that you can rent, but since I don't know how to surf, um, it's not the greatest. Although the waves look pretty decent for a beginner, like, I think I'll pick up surfing quickly because I'm pretty adept at snowboarding. And I know how to longboard and skateboard. I mean, I know surfing is different, but uh, I'm pretty good with balance on the feet, so. I'll pick, I'll see you guys again once we get our food and then yeah. We're gonna take a walk around the beach, try and find some sandals. Then later on in the day, we'll look for a new accommodation. Probably stay at one of the beach hotels over here so we can like just have straight access to the beach. We got the mocha milkshake, the Coke, the Zero, and some free peanuts. With the beautiful view, man. I mean, lunches with a view like this are to die for. Alright, here we have the marvelous cheeseburger, bacon and cheese. We got the ketchup, we got the french fries. We got Mumsy's butternut 
squash soup with I don't know what condiments they are over there. And we've got some free little appetizer spring rolls over there. And now we're about to dig in with this gorgeous view over there. So I'll catch you guys after the meal. I'm not sure where the game plan is. I think we're gonna walk along this side of the beach. Try and find some slippers so we can take a walk along the beach, maybe take a dip in the water. Or walk alongside the water a little bit. Because, um, yeah. The Nikes, or I mean the Adidas shoes, aren't really cutting it, man, for this weather. And I don't have a towel either, and it's mad hot. to Kuda Beach as you guys see over here which is I don't know maybe like six kilometers away from uh, where we were at at Semiak and as you guys see on the ground there is a lot more trash on this beach although there's a lot more sun beds even when I was standing by the water there's a lot of plastic bags I don't know if you guys can see that that are washed up so it's a little bit dirty and it's not like a white sand beach I would say it's like a black sand beach there are white sand beaches here in Indonesia. Sorry, some guys trying to sell me these umbrella beds, man. They're relentless. Every 30 seconds you're walking, some person is gonna try and stop you to sell you an umbrella bed, which is kind of annoying when you're just trying to take a walk on the beach, but you know, this is how the people make a living. Anyways, the waves over here aren't as great as in Semenyak Beach. I would say to learn how to surf, it's better in Semenyak. And the waves there, where we were at earlier, were a little bit bigger. There was like more of a variety. There were big waves and small waves. But uh, since I don't know Bali that much, and I don't know that much about surfing, only really about bodyboarding and things like that, I would uh, just do your own research over there. But Kata Beach, I think it's a little bit overrated. There's so much, like I said, every, every time I walk in the water, there's a piece of rubbish or plastic, as you guys see here or there that washes up ashore. There's a lot of trash, so it's not the cleanest of places. Voluntary work needed. Yeah, voluntary work needed. Or it's people that clean the beaches are needed here. As you guys see, even here, along the coast of the beaches, there's so much trash that's just laying about. And I mean, there are people surfing over there, but the waves aren't the greatest. I would say like a few kilometers away, a few kilometers away, the waves are a lot better. There's a bigger variety of them. There's bigger waves and then there's, um, yeah, there's bigger waves and there's smaller waves. So there's a variety for both surfers. Here, this is mainly for like beginners, I would say. And I guess it depends on what surf school you go to. But there were like three proper surfers on those smaller, sharp, sharp surfboards that were going in deep and that were like curving and stuff. So if I can find them, I'll film them again. Your boy is gonna go for a little bit of a swim. Maybe I'll ask my mom to film and then we will go. I will just uh, go a little bit deep and do what you want to call it. I'll just body surf my body right now because I don't want to rent a body board or anything like that. I'll probably take a surfing lesson tomorrow if I'm being completely honest because I wonder, I, I like these surfboards that are like a little bit more round. I mean, I like the sharp surfboards, but to learn how to surf, I think you need to first start with these like long boards, right? To get the balance and all that aspects. So then I can move on to the bigger waves. But considering my history with snowboarding, I was pretty adept at that. And considering my history with longboarding and skateboarding, I think surfing is a sport that I will pick up uh, relatively quickly because I do have a history with paddleboarding. There we go, oh no, he wiped out. There's one surfer who was going like, shh, shh, swerving along the lines. All right, Mumsy's gonna stay here drinking her coconut. And we are gonna go for a swim in the ocean. No surfing lessons today. But we will catch some waves with our body. It's been a while since I actually swam in the ocean. I don't have a towel, but we're just gonna walk back to the hotel. Hoping to get dry and then tomorrow we'll take some surfing lessons. We're allowed to swim in between where those two flags are, that green one and that one. So that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna take the underwater proof case with us. Because part of the GoPro broke, which I had to glue together. So I'm not sure how good the audio quality is gonna be. But we got the wrist strap finally. So I don't have to worry about losing that when I swim. 
And like I said, I am a pretty adept swimmer, so I'm not gonna drown. Unless the drift uh, carries me away. So I'm gonna put you guys inside this little thing and then we're gonna catch you guys in the ocean, man. I think I'm in the zone where you're allowed to swim, so we're chilling, right? My biggest fear is sharks, but we're not that deep. Where those waters are, where those things are, that's what we're gonna try and catch. We're gonna try and body surf. I'm gonna switch to super view because I think hyper view is a little bit too hectic. Luckily, it is super shallow, so it is actually a pretty fun blast being here. We're gonna try and catch those waves that are in the back and then do some body surfing. My only fear is that the camera is kind of gonna hit me. But well, lucky with my bodyboarding experience, we know how to catch some proper waves. We're just gonna duck underneath them. Oh, holy moly. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me. All right, if we can catch a wave like this, one more. All right, that, there we go, there we go. A little bit deeper and then we've got this. We need to go a little bit deeper. We need to go like 10 meters in. Right as this forms, that's what I want to catch. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, down, one more. I'm always kind of getting sucked into the ocean. <laughs> the ocean is not to be trifled with. I don't think without a bodyboard or a surfboard I can go as deep as I would like to, especially with the GoPro. So I'll put this away for a little bit. And I'm pretty deep now. I think if we catch this one, no, we're gonna have to go underneath. Catch your next break, and then we're gonna swim for sure. Okay, this is the next one. I feel it. <laughs> yes, baby. Finally. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How far do we go? All right. Not a bad distance. I'll try have an action cam for you guys. This game quite really fucking deep right now. I right, warm up for the boys. Fuck, bro, here is a good one. That's fucking deep, though. Can we catch it before it breaks? Nah. I think I'm gonna go for one more. I keep on saying that, but shit. They had their fair share. I hate being in the ocean by myself, but that's the depth we need to be at. But without a board, it doesn't feel safe, bro. One thing about me, I'm too paranoid to be out in the ocean by myself because of the fear of sharks. The depth that I wanted to go is not that crazy, but without a board, it's fucking scary, bro. Because the deeper you go, the stronger the ocean current is. Like, that drags you in, you know? And it's not the scariest of things. I caught like one good wave, but the rest were kind of shitty. I had like one decent fucking like wave ride. That's a little bit further out. But to catch your decent waves is uh, at a place where I can't stand. Oof. I'm thinking about it though, bro. Just one more. Shit. I don't think there's that many sharks close to shore. I mean, this is like, look, I'm standing right here, right? I don't know Bali that well. There's a piece of plastic, fuck. So much trash here, but fuck. I really want to get one good wave without the fucking cam in my hand, bro. Even with the good wave that I got pretty deep, I was swimming. But everybody else decided to swim not next to me. So I don't know. Man. If I had a bodyboard or a surfboard, if I had a bodyboard, I would go deep, deep. 
I would go to where I want. Let's see. That's where the wave breaks, right? Fuck it, we can do one more. I'm not sure about like surfing, but I feel like high tides have a way to go, right? When you're trying to the ocean. Fuck it, we'll try to catch this one if we can, man. Oh, fuck it, it's too small. If there's not enough momentum, then we gotta chill. We came this far already, right? Just keep a lookout for the fins, yo. And like I said, the tide isn't really that strong. It's not like I'm drifting out into the sea. Oh, there we go. I think this is our break. I think this is our break. As long as it doesn't... Oh, it's gonna break. Fuck it, we're gonna catch it, dude. This is Oh, bro. Alright. That's enough adventures of me throwing the ocean. I'm gonna come here tomorrow and take some surf lessons. And then we'll catch some more of it. Like I said, without a bodyboard, without a surf. Oh, now we have a surfer going in the shit. Without a bodyboard, without a surfboard, it's not really the greatest. I might go back just me swimming. I might drop my GoPro off at my mother's. And then maybe I can get a little bit deeper. Because it's hard. I'm trying to capture the wave surfs on the GoPro. But since the waters aren't clear, it's like, bro, it's kind of muddy. And like I said, the waves, oh my god, the plastic is freaking me out. The waves aren't as big here right now as they were earlier during the day. I feel like Semniac Beach, which is that way, is a lot uh, better. They had a lot bigger waves. And with that comes the riptide as well, you gotta watch out. If you're not on the board, it's like, man, you don't want that shit pulling you deep in the ocean, right? Even though I'm a depth swimmer, the ocean can fuck you up. Even if you know what you're doing. Anyway, it's time to return to Momsy. And uh, yeah, walk the rest of the way to the hotel. I'm soaked. Right now, right now. Bro, I lost my mom. I swear she was like right there. I don't know where she's at, dude. Oh, maybe she's over here. Ah, oh, yes, she's over there. Oh, okay. I was wondering, I think I drifted so far away from the, in the ocean. Mm -hmm.